Okay. Why can you see through glass? It's an interesting question, and we all sort of know. Well, yes, you can see through it because it's transparent, but why? And it does get quite confusing because ultimately it's a bit of a quantum physics explanation. And some of you are going to write in and say, yes, you've treated light as particles, but we all know it's actually a wave. But is it? It depends on what experiment you're doing. This is why we have this thing called wave-particle duality in light. And the great thing about the internet is, if you have a complaint about the way I've explained it, you can simply fill in one of these boxes and put, as a glazier, I was deeply offended by your explanation of light as particles. We all know it's a wave. Tap away. That's what this is for. And anyway, I'm right. Given that glass is such an ancient invention, I mean, it goes back to the Middle Ages, really, in Europe, and maybe even earlier than that elsewhere, why has it never really been improved? I know we've got plate glass and all the rest of it, and toughened glass for car windscreens, but the stuff in your windows, on the front of the clock over there that you can't see, and pub glasses, they just break too easy. Why has there never been an unbreakable pub glass? And I know there's Pyrex, which you use to make those sort of slightly opaque teacups that you used to take camping. Well, why do things taste terrible out of Pyrex? Because it's still just glass, isn't it? Why, why would it make it taste different? It's not like polystyrene or cardboard. Anyway, are there any applications for glass that you can think of that no one else has thought of yet? I've come up with a glass gearbox for a motorcycle, because then you could ride along watching all the bits working. But not for very long, obviously.